case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The intriguing legal saga of Dana Corporation and its subsidiaries unfolded in mid-2007 when the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York was tasked with evaluating the validity of reclamation claims against the corporations. These claims arose out of the bankruptcy filings by the companies, turning the court into a battleground of the prior Leon defense and interpretations of the bankruptcy code. The crux of the case rested on the conditions under which a seller may reclaim goods sold to an insolvent debtor in the course of normal business. The specifics of Section 546 C of the Bankruptcy Code provided a refined but intriguing framework. It allowed for such reclamation, albeit with limitations, but did not recognize the rights of ordinary buyers, good-faith purchasers, or lien creditors, introducing a stunning complexity to the proceedings. The debtors in this case were Dana Corporation and its subsidiaries, who countered reclamation claims on the grounds of the prior lien defense. They argued that the claims were without merit, as the pre-petition debts were paid off using the borrowed funds from DIP facility. In sharp contrast, the reclamation claimants, the sellers of the goods, sought to validate their claims by arguing the goods had been freed from the prior lien. The court case specifically dissected the impact of the Farmore and Dairy Mart decisions concerning reclamation remedies for sellers when pre-petition liens were refinanced through a post-petition debtor-in-possession facility. The disputed claims resided in a nebulous space where pre-petition collateral, inclusive of reclaimed goods, was subject to a pre-petition lien. Highlighting the complexity, the DIP lien had granted a security interest in the same collateral to DIP lenders. The resolution arrived when the court accepted the debtor's motion. The prior lien defense was deemed valid, and the disputed reclamation claims reconciled value landed at precisely zero dollars. Given these complications and the initial pre-petition debt repayment, the reclamation claims were declared valueless. Some reclamation claimants protested, arguing bad faith and misinformation, but the court system found those contentions meritless. And thus, the saga concluded with an unambiguous endorsement of the prior lien defense, a decision that could potentially resonate in future bankruptcy cases. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.